Hello, in this video I'd like to give a quick overview of previewing files in WorldDocs using our built-in viewers. Now there's two ways you can get to our viewers. One, you have your right side panel where if I click on this button right here it'll pull up the viewer or you have your view button which will build up, bring up the full size viewer to view the documents. So first I'll go over the right side viewer which you can show or you can hide just by clicking on these buttons off here to the right. Whatever document is highlighted in the list will be previewed off to the right. So as you walk down the list, you'll see it previews the document that's highlighted in the list. From here, you can open the file. So if I click the open button, it'll actually open that document into the application that it belongs to. I can click the full blown viewer button right here. That'll do the same as clicking the view button here, which brings up the full screen viewer. You can refresh it. You have different three different options of how you want this displayed within the viewer. So you have fit to read, fit to the width of the window, or fit to the window. You also have a search capability. So you can search within text of the document that's being previewed. So if I click on the text button here, type in a word and hit search, all the occurrences and it tells you how many occurrences it found right up here in green then you can use your next occurrence and previous occurrence to go through those occurrences you can also block text in here I'm just holding down my left mouse button as I drag my mouse over the area then if I hold down my right mouse button and choose copy to clipboard I can clip uh, copy the text from the preview so if I want to paste it into another document. And then you have the ability to print from the preview. Now if you print, it's going to print a draft quality, not the same quality as if you print it directly from the application, but if you just want to print off a draft copy so you have a copy nearby that you can jot down notes on or have in your hands to review, you know, that works fine. It also works uh, great for if you receive a file from an outside source, that you don't have the application for. So let's say you receive a type of file, you don't have the application that opens that file, there's a possibility that our viewers will still be able to view that file and therefore give you the ability to print it even though you don't have that file's application. Now I'm going to go over to the full size viewer, so let me just hide the right side viewer. I'll click on the full size and it brings up a full screen viewer that you can use. And once again, you've got your open button here, your refresh, your previous file and next file, that'll just walk up and down the file list of your current WorldDocs file list to display the next and previous file. The same buttons, fit to read, fit to width, fit to window, and your same text search with previous and next occurrence, your print draft option, and then your copy block option. So from here, you could also block text, and then copy it to the clipboard so that you can paste it into another document or into a new document. Then you have your set your defaults where you can set the defaults for how you want the window to display the text when you open it. Okay one other thing I want to show you real quick is when you're viewing an email message. So if I highlight an email message and hit the view button it's also going to show these forward reply and reply to all buttons. So even though that email is saved in WorldDocs, if you want to reply to it or forward it to someone, you can use these buttons in the full size viewer to do that. And it's actually going to use your copy of Outlook to generate that forward or reply email message that you send off. Now these are only going to show up in the full size viewer. So if you have your right panel preview up, and you highlight an email, you're not going to see those buttons. You're only going to see those buttons for sending, uh, for replying and forwarding of emails if you use the full size viewer, then you'll see them up here on the top. So that's a quick overview of being able to preview documents before you have to actually open them up into an application and other things that you can do from our preview window.